hello friends welcome to engineering tutorial so we will uh, resume uh, our discussion on the electrical and electronics measurement so in the previous videos we discussed about the general measurement system uh, the various introductory concepts related to measurement the types of measurement and also about the input output model that representation of a measurement system in this video we are going to have a very uh, quick discussion on the performance characteristics of instruments okay so what performance characteristic of instruments are okay what what essentially it is it is basically the process of uh, you know uh, evaluating the measurement system on the basis of various parameters for example uh, let's say like we you know the report card that we have we used to get in school where we used to get grades or marks on various subjects the academics then also there was a co curricular activities that section in sports uh, in uh, various other uh, aspects such as singing dancing whatever various other games so we used to get grades or marks on various categories so you can un uh, you can uh, relate the performance characteristics of instruments like that the various characteristic features which we are going to discuss in the upcoming videos under the heading of performance characteristics each of these characteristic is just like a subject for that instrument for that instrument it is a subject and uh, we are going to evaluate how much grade or how much marks we can we can give to the instrument for that characteristic for that feature so it is a very simple way of understanding performance characteristics so before that we know that the basic block diagram representation of measurement system it consists of sensors transducers signal conditioning and processing elements the output and the power supply now each of these blocks play a, a role a, pla a, a part in the performance characteristic of that system it affects the performance characteristic of the system for example the number of blocks or the number of stages of the instrument has it will affect the time delay in generating the output okay time delay it is a performance characteristic how how quickly the output we 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 obtain the output as soon as the input is given after how much uh, time we get the output that depends on the various uh, various things Um, the sensor transducer the signal conditioning processing element the output elements all these things uh, also there are other things involved then also this input output model of the measurement system the various uh, things which we have already discussed in the previous video the input it has it can be divided into three types first the desired input which is the signal which we want to measure then we have the modifying and interfering inputs which are the unwanted signal types which we cannot completely eliminate we have to take them into consideration and figure out a way in which we can uh, neutralize their effect and keep it them as a at a minimum level so all these things modifying and interfering input will affect the accuracy the precision value of the instrument okay so that's why Uh, we have to take them into consideration while considering the performance characteristic now the performance characteristic of the instrument it can be divided into two categories okay for uh, evaluating the performance of the instrument or the measurement the measurement system we can divide into two separate categories first the static characteristic and the second one is the dynamic characteristics 
just like uh, in school we used to have the academics and the co-curricular activities that section you can just relate it like that so first is the static characteristics now these are the features or the characteristics of the instrument or the measurement system which remain almost constant the same and uh, they remain constant or they vary so slowly they change very slowly that uh, with respect to time that it is impossible to note any difference between them okay so they remain constant almost constant or vary very slowly with respect to time so these are the static characteristics the important static characteristics are accuracy the most important characteristic of the instrument how accurate how close the output value which we get from the instrument it is to the original output I mean, the how much close it is to the true value of the signal then sensitivity which is the ratio between the output and the input then reproducibility it means how many times the instrument can give the output you know uh, suppose we give the signal uh, as the same signal five times under the same operating conditions and uh, uh, what what is the closeness between those readings that we get we will discuss about these things in detail in separate videos now i'm just uh, trying to give you a rough idea then error is the difference between the measured value and the true value then the drift is an undesired behavior between the input output relationship all that so we'll discuss this so these come under the static characteristics there are more characteristics that uh, come under the static characteristics these are just to name a few so these characteristics they remain more or less constant or they vary very slowly with respect to time okay that's why the name static characteristics then we have is the uh, dynamic characteristics okay it is opposite to that of static characteristics so these are those features or characteristics of the measurement system or the instrument which vary very rapidly okay with respect to time they vary very rapidly and they are called as dynamic characteristics okay examples of dynamic characteristics can be the speed of response okay how quickly the system uh, the instrument system responds to the input and gives us the output as i said uh, the measurement lag fidelity dynamic error so these dynamic characteristics uh, as i said in the uh, at the start of the video the response the lag it is determined uh, the number of stages in the instrument the various things they affect uh, that okay so the dynamic characteristic of the measurement system they vary very rapidly so the examples are these now we will discuss about these dynamic characteristics in separate and separate videos so here i just wanted to uh, give you a brief introduction into the performance characteristics in the upcoming videos we will discuss each of these characteristics uh, one or two of them in one video so that we give our complete focus on one characteristic and try to understand it in a good way so these are uh, the various ways in which the characteristics of the ins instrument the performance of the instrument can be evaluated we discuss them so i hope you like this video and please subscribe my channel engineering tutorial for more such videos related to electrical electronics instrumentation and communication engineering have a great day thank you very much